Romantis beings, creators. Some of them are, and we are not part of that group, but mantis beings, they reach higher, much higher realms of dimensions. And we would say that there are those within our species who have reached such heights as to be considered founders, to can be considered creators of universes and working close by with source consciousness, universal consciousness itself. But again, we are not part of that, but we do recognize that higher being. Okay, thank you. Is the planet that you were originally from still around? That planet is no longer in existence for it had long been destroyed. In fact, when the channel and I had past lives together, it was many, many thousands of years after our planet had been destroyed. So to give you some idea of the length of Earth time, hundreds of thousands of years ago. Okay. So after that happened, were there several of your group that dispersed throughout the universe in different we places? Did. We went in many different directions for we are space fearing species and we work collaboratively with many other different star races. So we spend the majority of our time and have evolved into space faring species, living on ships, working on ships in more of the scientific, scientific studies is where we reside. Okay. Are there any negative mantis creatures? And if so, are there any of them near earth? There are service to self insectoid, but we would suggest fewer than you would think. And there are those lower vibrational insectoid slash mantis beings who do try to interfere in your reality. But again, they are not the only ones and no one really has to fear these lower frequency beings as long as one keeps their own vibration higher and at a certain level. But it is important that you understand the variety of mantis beings as well as insectoids, or they come in all shapes and sizes and all varying vibrations, frequencies, and intentions. We obviously come from a collective group of like-minded spirits who are here mainly to assist in your evolution and your ascension on earth. And we are proud and grateful for this opportunity to assist you at this time. Thank you. We're, we're really glad to have you. Can you tell us anything about the age of Aquarius, which is started today on this date for earth? This is a casting out of habits, thought processes, and belief systems from ages gone by that of the Piscean, which is where you see in the symbols of Aquarius, the water cascading out of the jar, which is symbolic of the casting out or dispersing or eliminating those belief systems that no longer resonate on your planet. It's a getting rid of, of these belief systems and these thought processes. And this is the transition that you are in right now, although it is continuing to happen and will not complete itself for another 30 years. Okay. Can you tell us why some humans have negative reactions to insectoids and what we can do to clear that? Well, we would suggest that most of you who have fears of our race 
is because of cell memory from many different wars that have taken place that they have participated in. And it is within your cellular memory that we trigger. So that is the source of the fear. And that is also the reason why we are here wishing to make ourselves known to dispel that myth that just like not all races or not all peoples on your planet are one way just because of a few bad apples.